back at it again. How to raise the pH. That's this week's class, okay? Um, last week I talked about how to lower the pH and I also spoke about why it's important to have balanced pH and what effects negative it could have to your pool, pool equipment, etc. I went over that. I did not, however, go over dosage, how much acid uh, you need to use to lower your pH. Moving forward on any chemical video I have, I'm just going to leave a link in the description to a couple of online pool calculators. How much chemicals you need to adjust specific chemicals in your pool um it varies it varies depending on your pool size how much of a certain substance you need to add so there's so many different variables i mean i could leave a chart right but i think you know in the modern age it's just much easier for people to go uh there's poolcalculator.com there's troublefreepool.com there i mean if you just go on google and put you know a pool calculator for chemicals it's um you know, there's going to be no no shortage of, you know, websites where you can go to and just enter how many gallons your pool is, how, you know, all this type of stuff. And then that can give you an idea on how much you need to add. Also, if you have a pool store that's nearby, you can take a water sample to them um, and they could print out and say, hey, this is how much you need to add of this certain substance. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to raise the pH. Last week I went over how to lower it. Today I'm going to talk about how to raise it. And there's basically two chemicals you can use, right? You can use soda ash and baking soda, okay? Soda ash is sodium carbonate and baking soda. The Arm & Hammer is sodium bicarbonate. I personally do not use soda ash. I found that it leaves the pool very cloudy, okay? Chemically speaking it drastically and rapidly raises both the pH and the alkalinity. So it has its uses, but I used it at the beginning and it just left the pools looking very cloudy and I, I fell out of favor with it. Another thing that you need to understand that pH is really, it's anchored by alkalinity. When you have low pH, I mean, when you have low alkalinity, you're gonna have low pH. 80-90% of the time. When you have high alkalinity, you're going to have high pH. So you really want to focus on the alkalinity, moving that up and down, and that's going to pull and anchor the pH up and down with it. So with the sodium baking soda, the sodium bicarbonate, I'm just going to call it baking soda. Uh, so with the baking soda, it really raises more of the alkalinity, right? That's kind of what it's targeting. And it slowly and a little bit move the pH okay so yeah again this is very important something it took me about a year or two to figure out you want to focus on alkalinity even when you're looking at the pH right and that'll anchor it um, but that being said baking soda man it, it, it's basically what it is um, I called the local pool store today asked you know pretend I was just hey how do I read they have a five pound bucket or a five pound bag of their baking soda which costs about $14 in tax, so it's about $15 for a five pound. I'm gonna leave some links. For me, baking soda is baking soda, and I'm gonna leave some links on where you can find bulk 50 pound bags, and it should last you many, many seasons, many, many swim seasons. Um, if it gets clumpy, especially if you have in your garage over the winter and it gets really rocky, just break it up, put it in a cup, you know, when you put it into your pool, um, the water will dissolve it. If you have little rocks that fall to the bottom of your pool, just get your pool brush and break it up. It's nothing crazy that's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, that's kind of uh, that's that, that's kind of the, you know, the information I have for today. I'm gonna leave some online pool calculators. So whatever you're increasing or reducing, whether it's calcium, um, alkaline pH, what else? Um, cyanuric acid the stabilizer you know online pool calculator you can use that as your source at all times um and yeah baking soda is what i use i mean that's that's basically it so how to add your uh baking soda just get a hayward de scoop right one of these little cups Get the appropriate amount that you figured out how much to get from your pool calculator. Fill up how much you need to do it, right? Step one, just put it inside of a DE cup, okay? 
All right, now you got the correct dosage based off of, you know, pull calculator that you saw. Um, got your DE cup and I basically just let the water come in here, let it dissolve. If there's any rocks, any clumpy pieces because your bag has been sitting around for a while, I just, I grind it and crush it with my hand as the water is actually getting in here. So it'll be like this, okay? This one doesn't need that, so I just... Until it's all done. Again, if there's any rocks, clumpy pieces of the baking soda that made it to the bottom, you can just get a pull brush on the pole, pin it down to the ground, brush it, boom, it'll disappear. So that's how you get your baking soda into the pool.